One time in Thailand, I met a monk who said he'd seen a John Mahabur and told a John Mahabur that he knew that he was too stubborn to live within a John. He was going to have to go off and be by himself. And so he wanted to know some Dharma to practice that he had to keep in mind. And John Mahabur listed three things. They're called uncontrovertible Dharma, in other words, the Dharma that nobody criticizes. And the, the kind of practices where you have to be your own policeman. You have to watch out for yourself. First is sense restraint. When you look at things, listen to things, ask yourself, why am I looking? Why am I listening? Who's doing the looking? Who's doing the listening? Is discernment doing the looking, or is greed, anger? And if you see that the defilements are the ones who are in charge of looking, you've got to look another way. You have to look at what kind of, what kind of impact your engagement with the senses has on the mind. You're realizing that a lot of the trouble that happens in the mind is because you're not restrained in what you think about, restrained in what you t touch, look at, listen to. So you've got to exercise some restraint. And again, nobody's going to be able to police you on this, so you have to police yourself. The same with the next principle, which is moderation in eating. You eat enough to keep yourself strong. But you have to know at what point is enough and at what point is too much. And be very careful not to stray into the too much. But also be careful not to stray into the area where you don't have enough strength. You have to read the needs of the body and the needs of the mind. Sometimes if you eat too much, you go back and it's, it's hard to meditate. All the blood's going down in the stomach. So hold back, hold back a little bit. And then the third quality is being wakeful. In other words, sleeping only when you really have to. And not sleeping just for the enjoyment of it. As the Buddha said, there are three things in life where indulging doesn't ever reach a point of enough. Sleep is one of them. The other two are sex and liquor. So here we are at the monastery. The big indulgence is sleep. So you have to be very careful not to overindulge. Just Again, just enough to keep yourself going, keep yourself alert and awake. And learn to get the mind rested in concentration so it doesn't need so much sleep. All these are things that you have to look out for yourself. You have to be your own policeman. You have to be honest with yourself. And it's that quality of self-honesty that's going to see you through a lot of other things as well.